Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today we're going to look at how we can work out how many characters, how many times a particular character appears in a piece of text. So how many times a letter E or how many times a space or how many times a particular character appears in a piece of text. And it's a really uh, easy solution um, to the problem and I want to try and go through it now. So on screen you've got um, a select against the department table on the AdventureWorks database and I'm going to focus on the name column. So here I want to know how many times a space exists within each of these names. So to begin with, um, let's look at uh, uh, the function, the replace function. And what the replace function does is it will take a piece of text and replace some element of it with something else. So as an example, um, the replace ex expects three uh, parameters. And the first one being the piece of text that you want to do, you replace him. The second one being the piece of text you want to replace. So let's say it is the letter E. And the third one being what you want to replace it with. So let's say we're going to replace it with, so it's nice and obvious, a dollar sign. So we've now got two columns on our select, the first one being the name and the second one being the result of the replace function against the name, which is going to get rid of the E's and replace them with dollar signs. So let's run that. So you can see here, all of the E's have now, regardless of whether they're uppercase or lowercase, they have now been replaced with dollar signs. So rather than uh, replacing it with a dollar sign, what we can do is you can replace it with nothing. So if I just take that, um, in fact, no, I'll leave that, oops, I'll leave that there. We'll just do another copy and paste. So the third one, we're going to replace E's with nothing. So if we execute that, now you can see all E's are missing from the name. Now, um, as a column, that really isn't very helpful. So what we now need to do is to work out um, to work out how many times the letter E exists in each of these. What we need to know is the length before the E's are removed and the length after the E's are removed. And that should be the amount of E's in the uh, text. So let us do len, oops, and we'll do name. So this is another fourth column. It's going to be the length of our name uh, column here. And then the fifth column, we're going to do len. And we're going to do the length of the name when the E's have been removed. And now to get the answer that we need, which is how many E's are in a particular piece of text, we simply say, get me the result of, get me the length before the E's and take away the length after the E's are removed. And because len um, returns a, a number, we can say the result of this length function minus the result of this because they're both numbers will, go, will give us uh, this column here. So if we look at the top one here, in fact, I'm just gonna get rid of this dollar replace if we look at the top one here, we can see in document control there is indeed only one E, and so there is one. If we go down here, this it reckons there's no E's in these three, and you can see there are no E's. That's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful.